After researching your investments, the next step is to obtain a quote. You can find equity and ETF quotes throughout WebBroker, but the most direct way is by clicking on quotes in the quick links menu at the top of your screen. Enter the symbol of the security you're looking for, or the name of the investment if you don't know the symbol. Once you make a selection, a quote will appear which includes the following. Last price. This is the last traded price for the security. Change. The difference between the current price and the price from the previous day at the time of market close. Bid. The highest price that someone is willing to pay to buy the stock right now. Ask. The lowest price that someone is willing to accept for the sale of the stock right now. Volume. The total number of shares traded throughout the day. Day range. The highest and lowest trading prices for the current day. 52 week range. The highest and lowest trading prices that occurred over the past 52 weeks. If you want more information, click the green arrow next to the security symbol. When you are ready to make a stock or ETF trade, click the buy or sell buttons to bring up the order entry ticket. Verify your account and select the type of security you want to purchase by choosing one of the tabs in the order entry screen. Next, confirm the symbol and the action fields reflect your desired trade. Enter the quantity or number of shares or units that you want to trade. Next, select your order type. As an example, let's walk through the two most commonly used ones, market and limit. Market selects the best available price at the time your order is placed. This type of order is often filled immediately. In this case, if you place a market order while the markets are open, it will likely be filled at the current ask price. But beware, the prices can change and your order can be filled at potentially any price. Limit allows you to enter the maximum price you are willing to pay on a buy order or the minimum price you are willing to accept on a sell order. The price is guaranteed, but you may have to wait until the security trades at the price you set. For example, if you place a limit price on an investment, your order will not be filled until the market reaches your stated price. In the good till field, indicate the length of time that your order will be valid. The day option means your order will only be valid for the remainder of the trading day. At the end of the day, your order may either be filled or expired. If you choose specify, you can set the date you want your order to expire. And cancel means your order will be valid through a number of days based on the market exchange's rules. Once you've entered all the criteria, click preview order. Carefully review the confirmation screen to make sure all the details are correct. If you are satisfied with what you see, click confirm to send the order to market. If you want to check, modify, or cancel your order, click order status. That's how you place an order in WebBroker. If you want to learn more about additional order types or other order entry features, attend a live masterclass, watch an on-demand webinar, or contact a TD Direct Investing representative.